I'm Emmy from the Start.ca Service Desk, and today we're going to walk you through your first time experience as a Start TV customer. This video is going to presume that you've already connected directly to the TV, but the process should be the same if you're going through your home theater system instead. If you still need to get connected, we recommend that you check out our support video on connecting your hardware. Okay, let's do this. We'll begin by turning on the TV and the set-top box. Just hit the little button on the back here. You should see the Start.ca screen right away, and afterwards a couple boot-up screens. Right now we're going to pair the remote to the set-top box. Press the OK button before the blue bar gets to the end. Bing! Success! On the next screen, we'll pick our language. You can select your language from the list. Today, I'm going to pick English. Now you'll be prompted to set up your set-top box with an Android phone or tablet. This allows you to easily transfer your account and network details to a compatible Android device with only a few clicks. This step's optional, so you don't have to do it if you don't want to. Choose yes or skip to move on to the next step. Really recommend it because it makes it very easy to set up, but today we won't be doing that. Let's skip for now. Next, the set-top box will attempt to establish an internet connection. If you're connected through an ethernet cable, then you won't have to do this step. If you're using Wi-Fi, you'll get a screen like this one. Select your home Wi-Fi network and enter your password. Boop. Now here's the service desk secret. You can actually enter your password with a USB keyboard. Simply connect the USB keyboard to a USB port on the side of the set-top box. All right. Just type it in there, then make sure that you've selected the keyboard. Scroll over to the Enter key, which is this little guy right here, and hit Enter. This will connect you to the internet. Success! Now you'll be asked to sign into a Google account. This is optional too, but we recommend it because it'll let you keep your set-top box up to date, and it'll also let you install applications, which is super fun. Feel free to skip this step if it's something you'd like to come back to later. Again, we won't be doing it for this video, so I'll click Skip. Our Start TV set-top box is built on Google's Android platform, which is why the next thing you'll see is their terms of service. You'll need to agree to these to continue. Boop. Now you'll see the Google location screen. You can choose to let Google know the location of your device, which is something other apps may request. Why? Some apps require location information in order to actually work. Some, or even all of their features, may not work properly if you select yes or no, so while it's optional, today I'm going to hit no because the Start TV app doesn't require location data. You can choose to help improve Android's performance by automatically sending them diagnostic information such as crash reports or app usage. This is also optional. Depending on what you decide, you can hit yes or no to move to the next screen. If you already have or plan to have multiple set-top boxes in your home, you might want to give it a name to differentiate it from the others. You'll see a list of possible names to choose from. You can either select one of these names or customize your own. I named my Start TV set-top box Fluffy. Don't judge. Don't you just love your new Start TV remote? We do too. Most likely you'll want to set it up to control the power of your TV as well. To do this, just select your remote you want to configure, you select the brand of your TV, and press OK. On this screen, you can press volume up or down to check to see if that controls the volume of the TV. I can crank it but let's not disturb the neighbors. I'll turn it back down. If this works, select yes, it works. If it doesn't, select doesn't work and try another code. This seems to work. So we'll continue. Next screen is a nice little finish screen, so just hit okay. Next, you'll see a quick overview of some of Android TV's features. Use the remote to scroll through these, and when you're finished, hit done. Wait a few more minutes while the set-top box finishes things up and you'll be brought to the Android home screen where you'll see apps. You'll see the Start TV app there, and other apps that may sync with your Google account will appear here if you've synced up your Google account. For now, let's click on Start TV app. I'm sure you'll be using that a lot. You'll see this nice little boot up screen, and you'll be brought to our login screen. And that's it. That was first time setup experience for a Start TV. Now, you're probably excited to start watching, so check out our next video coming up that covers activating your account and signing in. If you run into any trouble, please give us a call at 1-888-668-0001 or visit start.ca to send us an email. One of our friendly service desk agents will be happy to help 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can also get help on our social media. Visit our website for those links. Thanks for watching.